Hello everyone. The topic is linear regression. In this video, we will talk about linear regression, types of linear regression, and then we will do linear regression analysis. Linear regression is a machine learning algorithm based on supervised learning. And what supervised means is that basically the machine learning algorithms are classified into three categories. The first is supervised learning, the second is unsupervised learning and the third is reinforcement learning. Supervised learning is where you have input variables x and an output variable y and you use an algorithm to learn the mapping function from the input to the output. The mapping function is y is equals to fx where x represents the input features and the y is the predicted value. The goal is to approximate the mapping function so well that when you have new input data x and you can use this machine learning algorithm to predict the output variable y for that data. Supervised learning requires that the data used to train the algorithm is already labeled with correct answers. Supervised learning problems can be further grouped into regression and classification problems. Both problems have a goal of the construction of a model that can predict the value of the dependent attribute from the independent variables. The difference between the two problems is the fact that the dependent attribute is numerical for regression and categorical for classification. A regression problem is when the output variable is a real or a continuous value such as the salary or weight of the person. Uh, the weight of every person is different. Some might even have a weight of 60 kgs while some have 59 kgs. And the classification problem is when the output variable is a category such as whether the person has a specific disease or not, or uh, animal is whether a cat or a dog, or where, where the emails is a spam or not. And linear regression, as the name suggests, is an algorithm that is used to address the regression problem. What linear regression do is it uh, plot the data points in a graph with respect to the independent variables and the dependent variables. And then it draws a line that passes through the set of data points such that this line can be used to predict the value of the dependent variable. For example, if we consider that the independent variable is the experience and the dependent variable is the salary and we have to determine the salary based on the experience. So if the experience of the person or of the employee working in a company is here, then this line can be used to predict the salary of that employee. This value will give the salary of the employee whose experience is this year's. The equation for the linear equation is y is equals to mx plus c where m is the slope of the line and c is the intercept of the line. And different lines for linear regression can be made by changing the values of M and C as the value of the X will be constant for different employees. For example, if we are taking the example of the salary, then the experience for every employee will be the same. For example, this experience for the first employee will be five years, the next three years. So that's how the value of the X will be constant. But the values of M and C can be changed and based on these values, different number of lines can be passed to these set of data points. For example, one line is this, one line is these. Uh, this might not look, a, look like a straight line, but this is a straight line. And uh, we will use the line that gives us the minimum error between the predicted value by this line and the actual value of the data points. There are different number of ways through which we can represent the linear regression equation. The 
variables that are used to represent the slope and intercept might change. For example, in the first equation, the variables that are used to represent slope and intercept are m and c. In the second equation, they are w and b. And in the third equation, they are b0 and b1. But they are all the same thing, that is slope and the intercept. And uh, y is the dependent variable, that is our target variable. And x is the independent variable, that is the predictive variable. Now suppose if we have plotted a graph between the price and the size of the house, that is the size is the independent variable and price is the dependent variable that is dependent on the size. Based on the size of the house, we have to predict the price of the house and there are some data points that are given to us in the data set. Suppose these are multiple data points and uh, we have to find a line that passes through the set of data points. Suppose we are making the straight line and uh, if we check then the price of the house with the size 50 is this as predicted by the machine learning algorithm but the actual value of that house is this value so this here is the error term and we have to reduce this error this error can be calculated as the difference between the predicted value and the actual value and this will be y predicted minus actual value of the y. This is y axis and this is x axis and then we will square it and then we will sum it up for all the data points. For example, this error value, this error value, this error value, and all this. So we will add the summation for all these data points. And when, if it is divided by 1 by 2m, m basically here means the total number of data points. For example, in this example, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, there are 12 examples, there are 12 exa uh, there are 12 set of data points and then we will calculate the error for all these 12 terms and we will put them in this equation to calculate the to total error for this values of m and c. The equation of this line is y is equals to mx plus c. This y gives us the predicted value of the uh, data points and as I have told before that different number of lines can be made by changing the values of M and C so we will draw different lines and if we draw this second line we will calculate the same error that we have calculated through the first this error this this and the summation of all and then we will note this error this error term by this formula this is known as the cost function cost function this is the cost function for linear regression that calculates the error term I have made the separate video that contains the in-depth analysis of cost function and gradient descent. So you can refer to that video. So the equation that I just previously explained is this equation. This is the cost function and the cost function that is used for linear equation is mean squared error. Uh, in this equation, you replace this y predicted with mx plus c and the final equation for the cost function generated for linear equation will be this equation. Now the types of linear equation. There are two types of linear equation. The first is simple linear equation and the second is multiple linear regression. 
simple linear equation is a linear equation model with one independent and one dependent variable in this example of the size and price of house the price of the house is dependent only on one independent variable that is the size of the house so there is one independent variable that is the size of the house and one dependent variable that is the price of the house now multiple linear regression it is a linear regression model with more than one independent variable and one dependent variable for example the price of the house is dependent on the area bedroom and age and by age it means the years the house has been built so the price is dependent on these three features whereas in the simple linear equation the price was only dependent on the area of the house so given these home prices find out price of a home that has 300 square feet area three bedrooms 40 year old so with the help of these features we will try to predict the price of the house with uh, some new features of the house so this was the equation for a simple linear regression and this is the equation for multiple linear regression and this equation this v naught is the intercept of the line and in this multiple linear regression equation this v naught is also the intercept of the line the only difference is that with this x1 was the size of the house and this p1 was the parameter associated with this size and this was the slope slope 1 in this equation uh, in the example that we use for multiple linear regression x1 was the size x2 was the number of bedrooms and so on uh, in the previous example there were three features so the equation will be v naught plus v1 x1 plus v2 x2 plus v3 x3 so this will be the equation and uh, x1 will be the size of the house x2 will be the number of bedrooms and x3 will be the age and there will be three slopes used with these features the first p1 will be associated with the first feature the second b2 that is the second slope will be associated with the second feature and the third feature and the third slope will be associated with the third feature when calculating the cost function for this multiple linear equation, all these parameters B0, B1, B2 and B3 will be optimized and the best fit line that gives us the minimum error of the cost function will be used for multiple linear equation and for predicting the price of the house. Now, there comes a special case of linear equation that is polynomial linear equation. It is also called the special case of multiple linear regression in machine learning because we add some polynomial terms to the multiple linear regression equation to convert it into polynomial regression. It is a linear model with some modification in order to increase the accuracy. It makes use of a linear equation model to fit the complicated and non-linear functions and data sets. So the equation for polynomial linear regression is this equation. This might look like the equation as multiple linear regression as polynomial linear regression is the special case of multiple linear regression as I have told before, but only with the difference that in the equation of multiple linear regression, the different features are used such that x1, x2 and till xn. But in polynomial linear regression, same feature that is x1 is used with added degree in each successive term of the equation. So what is the need for polynomial linear regression? If we use the same example of house price prediction with the size and price. 
and if we have data points like this then you can see that by drawing a straight line even like this or this won't do much better because it cannot fit all the data points or it will just maximize the training error but what if if we try to draw a line or line instead of a curve that looks like this so it accurately or somewhat precisely fits the data points very well instead of the straight line that was just being used by the simple linear regression so what polynomial linear regression do is it squares or uh, add a degree to the independent feature to this size and here the x is size size of the house and uh, the equation will be y is equals to b not b not is the intercept plus b1 x1 x1 is the size plus b2 x1 square this is the size square we can also use the square root and the equation for that will be y is equals to b not plus b1 x1 plus b2 root x so this will be size and this will be square root of size here in this graph the square root is used uh, since the graph for square root is downwards so as you can see that this curve is pointing downwards here is a comparison drawn between the two models the simple linear model and the polynomial model in this model you can see that a straight line is fitted onto the set of data points that are not linear but non linear and a simple line cannot fit it accurately it can fit it but you can see the error would be very much in this case but instead if we use a polynomial model you can see that this curve fits these set of non linear data points much better than the simple linear model and if we calculate the error between these two models then definitely this polynomial model which will work much better than the simple linear model so that's for the video thank you